All right, here comes the odd and the unexpected. I've, um, I'll try to bring up some of the specifics, but um, and I hope this works with this angle. Uh, which, which way should I go though? It's kind of tricky because um, I don't want to... Okay, I'll uh, probably have to go back and forth. So, um, the first uh, little bit, and there's going to be a lot of people on certain levels that are not going to be uh, too happy with what I'm doing, but it's basically Yuri Danilov here making a ton of executive decisions and deciding to, uh, to become uh, um, doing some of the odd and the unexpected, as well as trying to prepare for much later on uh, uh, what may happen. I just think there's certain spots here, this one here, and that one over there, this one's going to be a little bit more tricky, uh, is the fact that um, if I don't uh, get going now, I, I'm worried about the hangover, it's going to be much more severe later on, so I'm just like, okay, this, it's going to be somewhat painful, I'm going to have to use up some, uh, the little bits of supply uh, that are left and obviously take, uh, take some casualties, um, but there's just these golden little uh, spots of opportunity as far as I'm concerned due to the fact of the terrain. Uh, so I think I mentioned that I wanted to uh, start making a push for Wooj uh, again um, even though we've been retreating like crazy I'm just like wait a minute uh, I, uh, th this is the hangover bit later on. It's also uh, another bit is the, the fact is that um, the Germans at the moment are using two arteries. This one was not, uh, or conduits, this was not uh, their original plan uh, to nail uh, Kjeltsa and Radom. They've got this secondary uh, a bit here, and the longer I left, leave them here uh, to do their thing, the worse it's going to get. It's kind of like almost the way they breached um, the boog over here, and, and I'm, you know, I'm letting them, uh, the longer they get there, the, the, the more they're more difficult it's going to be and that's what I mean by the hangover later on come January. So uh, if I attack only from this position here uh, that these guys uh, will only um, get um, a clear train to defend from. Uh, there's no other there's no other way so that's great that means no bonuses uh, either way there's no going to be no die roll modifiers. However uh, which I hope to God I do. If I take the take the hex uh, going the other way, I've got uh, the river and uh, some woods that way. So that's I'm really happy about that. And then we'll slowly see. And I take this spot, and then we can get that spot attacking from here because that one is also uh, straight up uh, open terrain. This is the way I'm going to have to look at it. Uh, and I'm also starting to sever this little, uh, hopefully, uh, some of this, you know, I'm causing them grief. I want them to react for flipping once. I have to move a lot of troops over here. I can do that because, oh, thank God, there's this secondary thing. This guy's not connected. Um, there's no enemy zone of control. I can zip zip some troops over here. It costs a lot of, um, I think I'm using 14 strength uh, attacking strength points in total when I start moving everybody around. I'm not going to get into the specifics, I just wanted to, to show you. Which means I have to steal um, uh, supply points from here. There's no other place to do it. Uh, I'll take a look to make sure. I'm pretty darn sure if, uh, I'll be alright. Um, I've got 50% of my rails been eaten up, so I've got five more uh, divisions worth I can, I, I can fiddle around with. So I could be somewhat careful. Uh, but I think I can do it. Um, so that means, uh, and I'm putting a significant percentage. Um, I think I got a like a high, a pretty high chance that I'll I'll get this spot or I'll push them out of there. Is what is what? Well, I'm, I want to take the position. And this one over here is um, originally I was just going to go and grab here. I don't know if it was a um, an administrative error on my part. I'm just going with it. Um, is that sh should there have been an Austro-Hungarian unit here? And it just seems odd, but like should it have been there? I don't know, but I know there was a lot of jiggery pokery and movement uh, to get some uh, troops over here. So maybe they took a risk. I don't know. I, like I said, I'm just going with it. Uh, so what I, I need to also uh, get the spot. I knew that there were some German troops 
in this we had seen the movement and, and so on and so forth but I so I was like okay how am I going to do this I don't have reconnaissance or any of that stuff and I mean these are German troops you can hide them for Christ's sakes you know swap the uniform that type of stuff but I was like it's also I think got something to do with uh, not just straight up um, uh, you know just the soldiers I mean it's probably uh, uh, some of their uh, uh, thinking and you know tactics or or whatever like that uh, uh, one little up so I think maybe somebody would know anyways I gave it a 50 50 shot that they would know where they were and so they're like yep uh, we're pretty darn sure that there are some Germans that have been inserted uh, with the Austro-Hungarians here I still am gonna take a shot at it uh, the problem is I'm gonna have to start moving uh, I'm gonna move the plebe I do believe I'm gonna have to move him across I'm not a big fan of uh, oh can I do that one Two, three, four. One, two, three. Uh, nope, I'll have to bring them across. I'm not a big fan of um, having my headquarters off or rail lines and so on and so forth, but uh, tough bananas. Uh, I, I need to get uh, do the attack thing. I wanted to send core HQs to do over here, but I'm going to be using up three uh, supply points to do amount of the attack. Uh, core HQs in total, no matter how many flipping uh, core HQs you have. Um, I can only um, use a total of two, uh, two supply points for an attack. Uh, uh, so I would be uh, constrained to that. I, well, I could bring over a core HQ and then the, uh, the army HQ, uh, plebe and the army HQ over there, but what's the point? I might as well just pop him on over and I'll leave the core HQ here in uh, Lublin. Which I should have known way back when. Um, or Lublin, or no, Lublin, I, well, I don't know how to pronounce things. Any, anyways. Uh, or some things I do um, and then that'll be that and I think I'll be moving this guy over to here to do whatever but uh, so that's it oh and then we're, well this is how this is the jinker I was like okay how the hell in the world am I going to uh, get 12 strength points to attack this spot and I was like hey why don't you just move this guy on over here and that way I can go I can attack from three spots uh, he'll get brushed if I do that though then he'll get the broken and if I did it from there it's, uh, you little monkey. The problem is I, I want that spot to, the t ah, shoot. Okay, that's just something I have to figure out then. And I can't d uh, divvy up anybody around here. I got hardly anybody left. I don't want to uh, uh, do what the Austro-Hungarians did and leave open a, a vacant spot. But gosh, I have to take that. Sp I, I can't leave that open. That's a rail junction for crying out loud and really nice and defensible. It's got some woods there. Uh, Okay, figure this out, Chris. Figure this out. Well, it'll be in a bit, and there's like others. You know, shoot some ladders, eh? Okay, so uh, well, yeah, I will. No, no, no. It's because of those flipping Germans, man. I have to get a uh, because they're in there. I, the Austro-Hungarians went from a third. You know, I just need to inflict one third of uh, their hits uh, um, or whatever to force a retreat. Now it's one half. So. Uh, you know, that's going to cause some, well, uh, potential grief. So, I would have then a half retreat and they would get, uh, I'd get a minus one on my die roll if I went that way with the broken because they can use that bit. Or if I go just from here, they can't. Yep, 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 yep. So I'll have to take a look and see what the odds are. Is it better to go, uh, uh, bring, uh, use up three supply point? Ah, uh, shoot. Like I said, it's the position. I really want that position there, and it would have been lovely. I would have had two pos uh, two spots there, um, forced the retreat, um, causing some grief for the core HQ here. Uh, you know, a little uh, salient, or micro salient, or whatever. And here's that other thing. Um, yet again, it's you know on, on a much tinier level, but uh, of the fact of um, trying to relieve pressure. Um, by causing, uh, you know, uh, mounting an attack somewhere else. I don't want to, but I can tell you uh, in some place things. But this is really going to help these guys out. And these guys are having, are taking a beating. So I just, you know, I'm thinking, hey man, this kind of makes sense with uh, a lot of other things we've been talking about with the live stream and everything else of, uh, you know, try, uh, other fronts, uh, you know, doing that, uh, like, uh, you yeah. know. All right, hope you're having a great day, and uh, that's it. Off I go. See ya.